Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a phone call from the Prime Minister of the Republic of India, Narendra Modi, during which they reviewed the deep-rooted friendly historical relations as well as means of developing these relations at all levels. His Majesty praised the Bahraini-Indian relations, affirming that these strategic relations are based on strong foundations of mutual interests, respect and understanding. His Majesty commended the pivotal and influential role of the Republic of India at both the regional and international levels and its constructive contributions in maintaining security and stability and promoting global peace. Means of bolstering cooperation and coordination to prevent the spread of the novel coronavirus COVID-19 were also discussed. His Majesty affirmed that the Kingdom provides care and support to all citizens and residents to maintain the safety and health of all. For his part, the Prime Minister Moody expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his continuous support to bolster cooperation and further develop the friendly relations between the two countries. He also thanked His Majesty for the extensive efforts of the Kingdom to prevent the spread of the virus and contain the repercussions, as well as providing care and support to the Indian community in Bahrain. He also commended the coexistence and diversity between different religions and cultures in the Kingdom. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from the Representatives Council Speaker Fawzia Zainal on celebrating the International Day of Conscience on April 5th, following an initiative by His Royal Highness that was endorsed by the United Nations. Zainal described the initiative as an international recognition of His Royal Highness's tireless efforts to support initiatives aimed at promoting international conscience and global peace. She wished His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, many happy returns and further growth and prosperity to Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the Cabinet meeting where it expressed thanks to the medical and nursing staff and crews working on the front line to combat the coronavirus, hailing their efforts and sacrifices. The Cabinet recalled with gratitude the noble humanitarian role of the nursing caters for which the World Health Organization announced the year 2020 an international year. On the occasion of International Day of Sports for Development and Peace, the Cabinet affirmed that the government has provided the resources for a youth and sports development in the Kingdom in light of the noble goals of sports and its role in local, regional and international social integration. The Cabinet also expressed the Kingdom's support for Saudi Arabia's call to hold an OPEC meeting for its importance in achieving the desired balance in oil markets and preventing a further drop in oil prices. Following the session, the Cabinet Secretary General Yasser al Nasr made the following statement. The Cabinet hailed the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier that supports the role of the private sector as a main contributor to the economy. The Cabinet decided to decrease the handling charges of bulk materials such as sugar, limestone chips, limestone chips, gypsum iron and sponge iron by 20%. It also approved a resolution amending decision 15 of the year 2017 on charges on, port, or on ports and maritime navigation. The restructuring of the National Committee for the World Trade Organization was also approved. The Cabinet approved the basic charter of the Arab Space Cooperation Group aimed at supporting Arab space cooperation and space activities between member states, information exchange and creating space capabilities in members. The Cabinet approved a draft resolution amending the lists of narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances attached by, with their laws, adding new drugs to the psychotropic substances and the precursor groups. The Cabinet also referred a draft agreement between the Government of Bahrain and Kuwait Fund for Arab Economic Development to the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs. The Cabinet was informed about the International Year of the Nurse and Midwife 2020 through a detailed presentation and recommendation on the workforce in nursing and the efforts made in all fields to serve the health sector. A proposal to prompt the uh, construction of a health centre in Bidayar was also approved. The Cabinet approved the government responses on two proposals, the first on sickle cell disease patients and the second on births in the western area of the Northern Government.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19 Operation Room at the Crown Prince Center for Training and Medical Research at the Bahrain Defense Force Hospital. His Royal Highness underscored His Majesty the King's commitment to ensuring the kingdom remains a safe place for all, noting that this underpins all efforts made by Team Bahrain in combating COVID-19. He highlighted that investment in education and training is the most powerful weapon societies have at their disposal when facing public health challenges. His Royal Highness also praised the awareness and vigilance demonstrated by citizens and residents, thanking all those following the health and social guidelines issued by the government. The Crown Prince then reviewed the progress of the ongoing public awareness campaign to combat COVID-19. He noted that the Kingdom's two priorities in the fight against COVID-19 are protecting the health and safety of citizens and residents and ensuring the economy remains on a stable footing. His Royal Highness concluded by commending the unwavering efforts of Team Bahrain, noting that their work is appreciated by every member of the Bahraini society. A number of senior officials accompanied the Crown Prince during the visit. On the occasion of the United Nations International Day of Sports for Development and Peace under the theme Sports and Physical Activity During COVID-19, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the Association of Sports with Development and Peace represents a noble global message that contributes to harnessing sports to achieve the goals of development and peace, which the Kingdom embodies in many of the initiatives it launched that are in line with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness affirmed that sports has long played an active and important role in making global societies more coherent, adding that it promotes a world peace as well as tolerance and peaceful coexistence. His Highness added that the Kingdom has witnessed during the past years a remarkable sporting movement through hosting sports and youth events. He stated that Bahrain has utilized sports to support all the leading initiatives of the UN to promote development and peace through sports. Commenting on the coronavirus pandemic, His Highness affirmed that the Kingdom shares the efforts of the International Community Towers preventing the spread of the virus while stressing the importance of exercising and practicing sports in a safe environment. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawzi Azena, stressed that during His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's prosperous era, the values and principles of tolerance, coexistence, peace and security have become the basic pillars of which the national sustainable development efforts are based. She pointed out that the UN's designation of April 5th as International Day of Conscience, based on initiative by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, consolidates Bahrain's international status and highlights the tremendous efforts it is exerting to support global global endeavors to promote peace, tolerance and coexistence as well as rejecting terrorism and extremism. The speaker expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for his for its distinguished initiatives to encourage tolerance, reinforce human values and urge the international community and people to adhere to noble fundamentals and values for the sake of a stable world in which security and coexistence among all prevail to achieve people's aspirations. She asserted that uh, the world is celebrating the International Day of Conscience 2020 amid extraordinary circumstances resulting from the coronavirus, which all countries are combating and seeking to curb its spread. In line with the exerted efforts to protect the well-being of all citizens and residents, the Center of Reformation and Rehabilitation received a delegation from the National Institute for Human Rights to take a look at the precautionary measures to protect the health and ensure the safety of all inmates and individuals. More on this report. A delegation from the National Institute for Human Rights made a visit to the Center of Reformation and Rehabilitation to follow up on the implementation of precautionary measures to prevent the spread of the coronavirus, COVID-19. The visit included a tour to look at the progress of the center's work in this regard, which aims to protect the health and safety of the inmates. As the head of the Center of Reformation and Rehabilitation, Major Hisham Ibrahim Jossim outlined. <laughs> تم اتخاذ الإجراءات والتدابير الاحترازية والوقائية حيال فيروس كورونا في مركز إصلاح وتأهيل النزلاء في جو وعلى سبيل المثال تم إيقاف الزيارات 
للنزلاء وأهاليهم للحفاظ على سلامتهم وتم إعطاء المحاضرات التوعوية والإرشادية للنزلاء والأفراد حيال فيروس كورونا وتم أيضا العمل على تعقيم جميع مباني ومرافق المركز بشكل يومي وتم توفير جميع المستلزمات الطبية وأدوات النظافة بشكل يومي للنزلاء والأفراد للحفاظ على سلامتهم الصحية داخل المركز The Vice President of the National Institute for Human Rights, Khalid al-Sha'ar, highlighted the measures taken, which he described as ideal. The Directorate of Reformation and Rehabilitation launched the virtual call service where inmates can communicate with their families after visits have been suspended to protect their health and well-being. We have been able to get all of the measures from the entrance to the end of the medical treatment in Sajjanjaw. الإجراءات كانت جدا ترتقي إلى يعني أن تكون مثالية العيادة مثالية في الكشف والفحص الدوري واليومي للنزلاء الموجودين النظافة والتعقيم في جميع المباني حسب اللي شفناه أنها كانت جدا ممتازة the National Institute for Human Rights member, Dr. Malala Hamadi, also noted the great efforts exerted by the Minister of Interior to protect the inmates and individuals. We saw that in our eyes, the measures and the measures that were taken from the measures of the measures, 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 for all the workers in this facility. And we saw also the management of the defense and the presence of the measures of the measures. وبصراحة هذا شيء يحسب للمركز يحسب لوزارة الداخلية وحرصها على سلامة جميع النزلاء. The directorate confirms its commitment to provide the best health care services to all inmates in a series of services provided in line with the law of the Reformation and Rehabilitation Center and its executive regulations.